I think I think this is an entitled, lazy country, and it's got to get its it's got to put its sleeves up and get back to work. This is mad. This is look at us. We're the only <laughs> um, industrial nation uh, that is that is slipping back into the last century. And why is that? We've we've been taken care of. I I, I put a lot of this this mindset down to to how the government reacted during COVID. Everyone retired early, and of course it's really hard. If you marry a rich person, you sit in a castle, of course you like it, right? If you retire early and someone just feeds you food, you know, via, via a, a, a delivery moped, of course you like it. I'll tell you this, right? Recently, I was recruiting somebody, and they didn't admit this, but they, about, about a month or two in, um, they were in South America and having a lovely time, and they weren't on the same time zone. Uh, there's a saying in business, and it's a saying anywhere. If you want something done, ask a busy person. And if you're working three, four days a week here, three, four days a week there, you're not busy. And I tell you, when someone's at home or someone's able to... to the, 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 the lack of... Um, I, I guess the, the, there's something magical that happens when people work together and work hard. And if you're, if you're working not for those two days, not for those three days. It mounts up until you're basically completely useless. It man it, p let's take the World Cup. The reason we have a successful England team at the moment is because they're working full-time. They're dedicated professionals. They're not the fat, smoking, drunken English footballers of 40 years ago. These guys are pros. They're dedicated. Excellence, achievement, growth in a competitive world comes that's from dedication. All of that's possible with remote... All of that's possible with remote teams. It is not the, really the, the the dire straits we're in economically are not actually I think the fault of the British worker. The, Britain has been ill served by its government over the last well the last the last, de uh, the last the last decade. If we can if it, if if remote, if a level of remote working a level of flexibility it doesn't mean everyone's remote all the time. It doesn't mean you can just choose when you dip in or dip out. A level of flexibility means someone who's got a caring responsibility can work. It means uh, someone who's got a child. Uh, ch Children's responsibilities can work. It means people who had left the labour market, who were because they were on the long, long term uh, on long term sickness, find that they can work three days a week. That's got to be to the benefit. It doesn't mean that we can't have jobs where teams get together. I completely agree. Actually, when people get together physically, there's a transformative um, uh, there's a transformative effect. But that doesn't mean you can't have increased flexibility. It's absolutely key to the world to the world of work. Let's let's do, let's divide your your, your comments into two. The reason we have a sick nation is because we have 8 million people on the waiting list for the NHS, which is partly down to the fact that the government has annihilated our, our, our NHS during COVID, OK? So that's for number one. So we need to solve that problem irrespective Correct. of anything we work. Now let's talk about flexi-working and home-working. First of all, my experience of people working at home is that they are 40% as useful as people I can see in front of me. And secondly, if I'm going to recruit someone at home, I would rather be recruiting a Portuguese, Brazilian or an Indian person with a PhD on 20% of the salary of somebody sitting around in, in Finchley um, with, with, with a, uh, pretending to work full-time with no qualifications. But I think that the, the, the question there 